Good morning guys. I thought I'd try and share with you today how I'm getting on finding homes for these car parts. So in here, this is my office, we're getting there. I've, I've moved loads of stock out. I've put a load in the loft. I'll show you that in a bit. Um, it's still chaos in here. I'll show you around in a sec. Like my photography bay <laughs> is non-existent. Um, but we're making progress, slowly but surely. So down here next to the computer behind the door, this is some of the um, floor mats. I've sorted these out into different models. There's still a load. This is a load of excess cardboard that's getting dumped. Um, yeah, in here, these are all still laid out by the model. Um, ready to be listed. Hello. And how have you been getting on? You've been attempting to list some bits. I've been listing air filters and spark plugs. Oh. So, you know, it's a party in here. <laughs> did, you, did you enjoy that? <laughs> um, yeah, complicated, but I think once I get into knowing what I'm doing, it'll yeah. be a bit quicker. Yeah, it's learning about all the different models of car and stuff, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah, I mean, there's, there's plenty of stock still lurking here that Andrew's working on. I've been, hello, Monty. I'm going to say a quick hello. 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 Oh, stretch. Yeah, I've been moving all the filters, like oil filters and air filters up here. These are not Christmas lights, they're fairy lights, okay? before we get more complaints. Um, yeah, loft, we'll take a look up there in a minute. But in the spare room, you may remember this was just a wall of boxes. Well, I've been through all of those, and now we have, this is our oil filter and air filter department. These haven't been sorted yet. These are being sorted by part number. So as you can see, these are all 2751s here. And yeah, likewise with all these air filters. So they're all getting sorted. And then when they're listed, we're gonna rack them up here with a reference number on the shelf, is the idea. But still boxes and boxes to go through. These are the Sang Yong parts. So yeah, and I need to sort out, this was all the packing from the boxes that I took apart. That needs to find a home. Trouble is, I've got another two crates full, I think, in my office, as well as that box I just showed you of Sang Yong bits, and I've already filled up this space. Which is annoying, because I was hoping I'd get all the air filters and fuel filters in here, all in one place. So I may yet manage it, but it's gonna be tight. I might have to use some floor space down here when I've cleared all of this. Yeah. Anyway, let's take a quick peek in the loft. Right, so I've been putting stuff in the loft that... <coughs> See, there's, there's stock here. Some of this is Christmas stock. Um, this, actually all of this is Christmas stock. This isn't car parts. The car parts are this sort of thing. These are complete light assemblies. Um, like headlamp assemblies, etc. There's really good money in them, but I just want them out of the way just so I can move. All of these are sort of £100 plus a box. Um, so they're good. There's a big box over here. This is uh, some like alloys. Um, so yeah, just getting them out of the way. And then we've got Christmas stock. This is my wall of coin makers. That goes back another sort of four or five feet behind there. Uh, of coin makers and the jet engine kits um, around this side. So these are just piles and piles of these mudguard kits, just squeezed in there as back as you can, as far as you can go. Uh, and then other just random stuff that I wanted out of the way that I don't want to deal with. Again, that goes as back as far as I can here and there. So. That's what I've managed to squirrel away in the loft. Right, 
Let's see if I can get out of here without breaking my neck. And back downstairs, like I said before, this is just excess cardboard that I'm gonna recycle. And then back into the office. Under the desk, there's there's a load of these rubber floor mats that I need to sort out. Got more of them just stashed here. These are great big um, air filters for trucks, I believe. Just put those under there, out the way for now. There's just random stuff I've not even looked at under there. This is all stock from the um, stationary cupboard that we haven't really looked at yet. Just folders and God knows what. So where all that's going to go, and again, this is all from the stationary cupboard. So we've got, what's that? toner kit and toner cartridges again ink yeah these are the it's just a box of random Haynes manuals that was part of it I don't know if there's any value in any of these but I'll certainly have a look um, these this is where move the bin this is where all of the shop manuals have gone these are really nice. Yeah, that's quite an old one, for example, 89. But they they go pretty much up to date. Uh, I did count them, there's over 100 in there. And we've got first aid kits. Um, I'll probably just do a bundle of that. Um, this, again, is all Christmas stock. Um, some of it I'm gonna send straight to FBA now just to get it out of the way and create some space. This is all FBA stock waiting to go up. Some random games that I picked up cheap. Uh, some Duplay that I bought recently in a supermarket. And then down here, I've just been squeezing in, again, loads more manuals, some really nice old stuff in here. Um, consumables. Just loads and loads of this sort of stuff. Fan belts, timing belts, etc. So I've just squeezed it all in. These are good, these are all brake pads. Really heavy, but there's value in them. Yeah, just squeezing it all in. As you can see, I mean, it's just endless, endless random parts. What we've got here, mirror assembly. Thermostat. Outside mirror, right hand, just generator assembly. So much gear, and it goes all the way down to the floor. There, around here, we've got similar. Um, but this is all stuff that's going to go upstairs in our like filters department. <laughs> Not that I have much space. Again, this is all air filters to go upstairs. This is a box full of oil filters and air filters. And that bottom one is all oil filters. So you can see there's actually one, two, three, three and a half crates full to go upstairs. Um, here, more stuff from the stationary cupboard that we won. Like little ink ribbons and box, boxes full of pens, old inks, you name it. What's this? Oh, string tags, yeah. They're quite nice. Unused box of a thousand, I think it is. Yeah, a thousand pieces. These were good as well. I did, I think I said in one of the videos, I looked these up. They're little, um, like, ink pads for self-inking stamps. Um, there's a listing for those on Amazon. So I need to pull those out, actually, and send them to Amazon. I'm hoping to do an Amazon shipment today. There we go. And there's quite a few in here. So, yeah, just stuff everywhere. These are all the boxes that I emptied all of the filters and stuff out of. 
So I squealed those away under there. My photography area is just full of crap. There's a load of wiper blades here that haven't yet been put where they're gonna go. For the moment, wiper blades are sat here and these are all boxes full of wiper blades all the way back to the back door there. Got loads of crates that we've emptied. Um, I might get rid of a load of those. I've just got way too many. But yeah, photography bay is going to have to be cleared. These envelopes um, came from the from the garage as well. They're just secondhand envelopes that were sat around. So we have those. We'll recycle those and use them. So yeah. So that's where I'm at. I'm feeling a lot better about it now. I've kind of broken the back of the job. I mean, obviously, I've got issues with the amount of filters I've got if I'm going to fit them all in the spare room upstairs. But, yeah, we'll work on that. I may have to use some of this space once I've got rid of all of this stock, either into the loft or straight up to Amazon. There'll be some more shelf space there. We shall see. Oh, and I found the, uh, the man stock. Oh, it's too heavy. Hold on. The man stock box that you may have seen in the video... Uh, when we were down at the garage. We found that. Um, I'm going to open that on. It's quite heavy. There's a lot of weight to it. I'll open that on the Sunday show. Just see what's inside. All right, Monty's just come in to say hello. Oh, where are you going? You coming in? Hello. Hello. Let's pro say a proper hello. Yeah, shake my hand. Hello, hello. I haven't got a treat for you, though. You're going to be disappointed. Mmm. How's that? Should we take you out for a walk after lunch? Huh? That sound like a good idea? Gorgeous little thing, aren't you? There's a little bit more space in here now. You can move around, just. Okay, I will wrap this one up then. Um, I need to get on with an FBA shipment, as I say, to try and clear a lot of this space here. Um, but I'm doing an, uh, an update on my Mac, and I've still got about 20 minutes to wait for that. So I think I'm going to grab some lunch and then get on with an FBA shipment. Create some space and then sort more of these crates out. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.